something good. You see, we have a window here that's been created by the debacle of the MV power sale. And New Brunswickers feel that there's a sense of responsibility that they need to undertake in order to reestablish a relationship with their politicians. We're also seeking, uh, and we've, uh, we've talked to the three uh, political parties who were once uh, parties to the coalition of, and partners to the coalition of New Brunswickers. We have asked the political parties not to participate in the coalition as we move into an election period. And we have sat down with each of the uh, party uh, partner uh, of the coalition and have reviewed our plan and our approach. Because the third piece of our plan it involves them directly. We're asking each of the four registered parties at this point to commit to our good government principles and include them in each of their electoral campaigns. You know, it's time in this province, we're small enough, the degree of separation in this province is not seven, it's a much smaller number, and it's, it really is time for our for seeking election to be related to the constituents beyond the campaign that's going to be officially in late August. So we're going to record the party's progress on our issues of good governance. And we're going to post those records. And we're going to be able to identify and we'll evaluate the lens that they put on. We're going to ask the parties that will they commit them to decisions that they're going to make will be uh, evaluated through a good government lens, all for the purpose of avoiding the fiasco and the effort and the millions of dollars that the government spent in trying to sell and power back to its people. Said the deal. So uh, that is that's who we are, where we are, and what we are. Um, 